Good day children. Today we are going to see the next few topics in addition. Today we are going to learn about addition, terms of addition, rules of addition and adding bigger number. And here we have some key points to remember. Addition. What do you mean by addition? The process of combining collections of objects together into larger collection. For example, here we have two red apples. When combined with one green apple, you have a collection of apples. So 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. That is called your addition. Terms of addition. For example, when you add two numbers, 21 and 52, you get an answer. 73. The numbers 21 and 52 are called as addends. The numbers that we add are called as addend. And the answer or the total is called as the sum. Rules for addition. Rule 1. When you change the order of numbers being added, the sum does not change. For example, when you add 12 plus 3 or 3 plus 12, the answer will be the same. Rule 2. The sum of any number and 0 is that the same number. It is the identity property. That is, for example, when 1 is added to 0, the answer will be 1. Or 0 added to 1, the answer will be the same number. That is 1. Adding bigger number. Adding bigger number is a lot like adding 3 digit numbers. Start with the ones, then move on to the tens, hundreds and so on. For example, here we are going to add 2392 with 5106 without regrouping. Your first step is add the ones. 2 plus 6 gives you 8. So 8 ones. Add the tens. 9 plus 0 is equal to 9 tens. Add the hundreds. 3 plus 1 gives you 4. 4 hundreds. The final step is add the thousands. 2 plus 5 gives you 7 thousands. So finally you get 7498 as your answer. Your next problem will be adding with regrouping. Children, what do you mean by regrouping? Yes. When you add two numbers and if you get a carryover, the regrouping takes place. And here we are going to find the sum of 2314 with 3886. You have to start with the ones, then move on to the tens, hundreds and so on. Step 1. Add the ones. When you add 4 plus 6, your answer will be 10. 0 will be in 1's place and 1 will be taken to the 10's place. Step 2. Add the 10's. 1 plus 1 plus 8 gives you 10. 0 will be in 10's place and 1 will be taken to the 100's place. Step 3. Add the 100's. 1 plus 3 plus 8 gives you 12. 2 is kept in the 100's place and 1 is taken to the 1000's place. Step 4. Add the 1000's. 1 plus 2 plus 3 gives you 6,000. Finally, you get an answer 6,200. Now, we are going to recap some of the concepts and terms we have learned today. The sum of 0 and any number is the same number. When you change the order of numbers while adding, the sum does not change. The answer in addition is called the sum or total. Addition is combining a number to another number. Thank you my dear children. Let's all meet with an interesting topic in the next class.